brace yourself, Finns. That's what we say as the king of Sweden. And we'll go over there, friends and thoughtful gamers, to the high chiefdom of Savo with our armies. Everyone has recovered from the bubonic plague. And we're doing what we do best. And we should look if we can get maybe more champions. <laughs> Some reserve champions as the bubonic plague has ravaged. It's ravaged everyone. Yeah, using. Hmm. We don't really need him. We can invite more champions, maybe. That would probably be wise. But it costs so much prestige, so we'll just rely on on pure luck. We could invite one of these. Uh, the Lustful Drunkard. An experienced schemer. Or Birgitta. A competent schemer and brilliant strategist, actually. And Forest Fighter. Wow. What a woman. We could recruit her to court, but why? That's the problem. Yeah, we'll just go over there. Try to wreck them. Here we go. Charge! Time is now. They're battling some kind of a small siege and they are now doing what exactly the army of cocky salami is going in they're uniting their armies i believe and then they want to siege i guess well we'll split up a bit once we reach the tribe of Kutoko. first let's split it in half we have Sigtuna, we have the second army of Sigtuna. Mm. Now with this army we'll go that way. With this army we'll go that way. Uh, and probably just start out here. Can we catch them, maybe? We might catch them. That would be great. And these men as well. Nearly there. Let's try to catch them. It might work. It might actually work. Ah, it doesn't work. Ah, uh, no. It could work here. We'll see. How about the battle here, though? The Battle of Pircala. Uh, we're at a dis disadvantage for some reason. For which? <laughs> I don't know. Defending in Taiga. Probably that. The Sanctity of Nature. They have all kinds of bonuses here. And we'll see how that works out for us. Um, wait, what? Ah, yeah, we're meeting these people here. And then we'll go back and let them go away from that siege. Why are we losing so many men? But there's a victory for us. A great, great victory. We captured Chieftain Milius' son, Irio. Nice. Times are great. They're personally into this. Which is a high, high risk. I'll go over here to Mesuclea. We can split that up now. And that one will go over here to Pietisari. While we're fighting this, the Battle of Lachti. And what a battle it is. They're all joining in. They're all <laughs> losing out. Council Rolf died. No! <gasps> Wasn't he our friend? He was slain in battle by Lauri Itkonen. Oh. We captured some. How is it? How is it? 
How is it in the military? We have enough champions, that's for sure. But what about the leaders? Oh, that's us personally here, staying here. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're getting back to heal up. Like a tick or so, and then we'll go back. Oh, we should split, really. Take that army, and... We'll leave that. The Reed Reaver. And aggressive attacker. No, we'll take this man. And where to go? Here. Hamelina. There we go. A little bit of sieging will have to be done. Malmfred. Ah. She has gained more scheming experience. Thankfully, so she can help us better. Someone has won something odd. What are we doing here? Oh, we're sieging this. We could here siege this. You never know. What's it gonna be? Everyone needs to siege a bit. Jedward comes of age. Oh, nice. Jedward Bjornsson of Mecklenburg, our son and heir. Has come of age. Ah, with sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards scholarship, such as Jedward, can come to truly understand any subject. An avid learner, he's become quite the purveyor of knowledge and has proven himself fully capable of structuring advanced theoretical and th theological arguments. They grow up fast, he's an astute intellectual. And that's truly good. He's but he's he's just and sadistic. Ah, he's just sadistic. Come on, he's just sadistic. He's just sadistic and cynical. And an intellectual. What an intellectual that is. Oof. A creepy one. But... Yeah, now, we're a zealot and he's a righteous atheist. Oh, goodness me. Let's see if we can get him some, some more counties to rule. Or to ravage. <laughs> How about the tribe of Vipuri? Hmm. I think we don't need that. I'll just wait what we can get here. They have such crazy forts, it's absolutely ravaging. We need to wait and wait and wait here in the freaking Finnish woods for some siege progress. <coughs> Our neighbor has lost the holy war for the Jardim of Sleswig. Frisia! The Catholic Frisians are taking Denmark apart. Tough times for the Norsemen. Look, they have united again here. We must watch them closely. Whom are we swaying? I think we can stop that scheme now. Let's see. We need a new marshal. My goodness me, we have no marshal, is that true? Jalfrodi, no, you cannot be marshal. <coughs> it would be a good steward. How's our steward in marshal? He's terrible. Okay, we cannot do this. We must have a good marshal. Harkon Toki would be the best. The best of the best. <coughs> I'm sorry. Ah. Uh. Where 
where will they go? There's now a couple of them. I don't know. Here. Somewhere here. And we see... Oh my goodness me! They're coming. They're coming. Just hurry up. Charge! Oh, we need to be quick. Need to stay here. Where are they going to? Join the fray. Just watch them closely. Make it a little slower. They're going up there. We need to stop them. Run, run over. <sighs> Chances are even. Uh, I need to stay here a little bit. What's going on here? I don't know what will happen. What will actually happen? So we caught them. These guys are coming back. We need also to hurry up into this battle. How is it going here? Ooh, that's going to be a tough one. A really tough one. They're coming in. The battle is there. Victory is imminent. We can merge the armies. Send them over. 99%. Uh, hurry! Hurry up! I must defend with tooth and claw. Ooh. Just like that, we saved the day. <gasps> Harkon, our marshal, died. The cruel fate. Jarl Rikulf, spymaster. Anlauf. Next in line. Kinyak was wounded at the time of this. We have won. Glory to us. The conquest is done. May your years be short and miserable, High Chieftain Millers of Savo says. Well, so be it. They will not be short nor miserable. We have this rockish man down and out and Sweden has grown again. Bodil's educator died. Oh no. Educate. We need we need someone to educate her. What's she good at? She's rowdy and forgiving. Learning, stewardship. She's focusing on intrigue. Mm. She shouldn't focus on intrigue. Ah, <sighs> often do well. Yeah, I mean... Let's get her to Marshall. At least she's a little bit better there. Mm. Intrigue. Uh, let's leave it at that. Maybe she'll learn something. I don't know. She's too forgiving, though. That will not make her happy. 
stewardship. Yeah. Change that to stewardship. Can disband all the armies and the glory will be ours. We're above the domain limit. Two above. What now? Who can get these? Jedward already has a lot. How about Mr. Mecklenburg? Tavasts and Messicullier. I can give that to him because he will inherit it anyways. Our son and nephew. Bossy, impatient and content is what he has become so far. Our children need to be powerful. Just as we are. What's going on? Our heir is unmarried. Yeah. Let's see. He has no spouse. We need to choose someone good for him. Someone nice. And let's have a look. He's a righteous atheist. And he's very, really good at, at learning right now. An astute intellectual. What is his weakness? Diplomacy, maybe. He won't go and go into war personally, I hope, even though he has a lot of prowess. Mm. We might need someone to help him. Well, what is that? Unreformed Uralic faith, Tati Dulu. I mean, she's at least the same age. She's a little bit gluttonous. Anyone with... With helpful traits. The great pox. Yeah, that's a great trait. Scaly. Oh, we could create a race of reptilians. Maybe not the best idea. Quick. Saga Sigos Dottir of Aarhus is quick. Generous, content and shy. But she's... She's terribly educated. I don't know. Hmm... What is it what we like here? Our aunt Holmfrid would be nice. Our aunts. Ah, we have a pretty aunt, Gudrun Björnstot here. She's content, sadistic and gregarious. He's also sadistic. Maybe that's where they can connect. She's good at intrigue. Well, that will help him as well. Chance of children high. Oh, nice. Um, they are related and there's a risk of their children being inbred, but I mean, come on, being pretty. There's only a chance. Here we go. Yeah, he's marrying his, his grand aunt. This is getting crazy. But it's all for the good blood of the Vikings. How did that go? Woo! The slaughter at Ruvisi. We, we didn't lose much here. And here? Neither. And here? Neither. Wow, we're, we're, we were so good at this. I hope this goes well. How is she doing? Gregarious, sadistic content. Yeah, she won't make much trouble, I hope. Everyone who's connected to her has died already. Hmm. How's our military? Our military is nearly complete again. So it's time to look forward. How about this? Uh, we have a truce with him. And Kakisalmi. The duty of Kakisalmi. We could declare war, but we cannot. 
because we have a fame penalty there. We need fame. We need to be famous. Let's call for a hunt. And we need to remove stress. Yeah, sound the horn. It's time for a good hunt. Ta -ta, ta -ta, into the woods. There are woods everywhere. We have woods everywhere. We're so good. The foragers. The woods truly is the mantle of the poor. But as the harp flees in panic from foraging peasants, I feel my patience wearing thin. Surely there must be better things to do in Wismar than picking roots and mushrooms. Hmm. Guards drive the rabble out? Mm, nah. I'd rather have a generous donation because we're we're zealous, honest and brave, and I think we're not, we wouldn't drive them out. Generous donation should keep them away long enough. And we can unlock a new perk for the martial lifestyle, and now, yeah, let's never back down. Friendly fa fatal casualties minus 20% and advantage plus 5. We won't back down. That's such a good song. And it's all about songs, right? What about Denmark? Who are they quarreling with? With Noreg, interesting. Returning from the wild, the hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the plains behind as the servants prepare the heart and other game for the journey back. To heed the call of the wild is usually an adventure, and this outing truly delivered both the good and the bad in overabundance. Just leave this adventure behind for now. That was really good. Um, what is there to do? I think we must recover a bit. We're really suffering prestige, it's crazy. We now gained some prestige. That's really odd to me. Now, let's see. Maybe we can build something here. In Striginus, let's build some gathering halls, maybe. On the other hand, we now have enough prestige for another armed conflict, which is why we're basically alive. Our prowess is not so good because of the gout. It's really terrifying. Mm. What now? Is it time to go for Kakisalmi? The chiefdom of Kakisalmi? Conquer the duchy? That would be the whole thing again. Yeah, I think... I think it's I think it's fine. I mean look at this. This is This is easy. Here we go. Raise the armies, sound the horns. We'll go over and present our thorns. The gathering is upon us. Woo! That's terrifying. <laughs> Need more prestige, truly. Nilland is under siege. Yeah, I know. I know. Should commission some kind of epic or something. Can we go to negative prestige? I don't want to know. We must beat these men. Quickly and decisively into submission. Yeah, we're leading this ourselves. Split it up. Ah, oh. and love the insane adventurer. Go over here, or we can siege. Yeah, what's the limit? 
We can split and split again. Here we go. Let's take that army. Send it here. We've got this army with good Vlodish love. Send it over here. And there's another the chief yeah, the actual chiefdom of Kakisalme. And oh, let's send I don't know him. He's a reaver. Go. time to siege oh it's it's time to do some other things too let's see um we've got this commander who is yeah his enemy fatal casualties increases yeah let's run back with him he also has light cavalry ah, our neighbor has lost we need to we need to make haste they're sieging here in in our fort. And we're sieging everything else. Strategical impasse. I'm sitting around the map table with Jarl Rolf. <sighs> our brother Chancellor and Vassal, the evil blackguard, and discussing the strategy for the ongoing war. Rolf bangs his fist on the table and loudly proclaims we should charge the enemy directly and crush them with the sheer might of our armies. Rikov explains how we need to watch what our foes do and respond accordingly. It's my right to decide the ultimate cause of action. I know we can employ both strategies because we're so great at martial. Very nice. Yeah, let's employ everything. And you need to fight here, because we need something to gain prestige from. And it's going relatively okay, even though we have horses in the in the forest, which is an absolute no go. But anyway, oh goodness me, the casualties. Oh, nice, we captured him. And the, the conquest is already over. Enforce the demands. We gain fame and prestige. So be it. The war is resolved. We can wait a tick. Why don't we gain 150 prestige? Well, I don't know. Let's disband the armies. And hope for the best. Um... Three holdings. Yeah, we have these three holdings now. I don't know what to do to, to what to do with them actually. <laughs> Let's have a, have a look at our siblings. Um, how about him? I mean, he's in good health. He's one of our best friends. He's um, he's a berserker. A little bit wheezing, but okay. Let's give him something to do. Um, Kakisalmi. Mm. Vipuri Sotvala. Hmm. He'll gain Vipuri, and who will gain Sotovala? We have other siblings, not really, right? Kixholm? Hmm, I don't know. Let's see whom we have there. Ext 
extended family, maybe relationships. Our friend Mayor Kettle at the court. And maybe, maybe one of our loyal champions would get something like this. Who, someone who really likes us, our courtier, Husing Steinson Gute. The last member of House Gute. Yeah, we could help this house prosper. Let's give him something, grant him a title. He kind of likes us. Uh, not that a counter sort valor, maybe. Here we go. And whom else do we have there? I mean, Ebund would be good, but he doesn't even have kids. So that's too uncontrollable. Starkadr also doesn't have kids. What are they all doing with that time? They're probably playing D&D, &D, right? Kinyak Kotoro. They all don't have kids. We should have we should really marry our 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 guys there. Klaas Gerderson. I don't know. I mean Kinyak He's kind of a legendary blade master, so he he might live a little bit longer. Let's give him a, the title there. Chieftain of Kexholm. He's now our vassal as well. A rational ravener. We need to do something to, that gives us some prestige. Anything. Yeah, you go for foreign affairs. That will alleviate it at least a little bit, hopefully. And... Nothing more can be done for now. I have to stabilize. We're really not in the best of prestige. An extra hand for all the authority I supposedly wield as king. I cannot be everywhere in my realm at once. There will always be those who forget to obey my orders once my extension is turned elsewhere. Is this where my champion Starkadr could come in, who has been faithfully enforcing my decrees or touring the countryside? Could he serve as my right-hand man and take a more active role in administering my realm? would have a, a right hand. Starkadr, the honorable fool. Yes, he will serve me well. Tourney troubles. I've been obliged to attend a local wrestling tournament. My concubine gather is there and as always is being an insufferable lout. <laughs> yeah, it's just that she loves us and she's our soulmate. But she's insufferable. She's our insufferable soulmate. Sometimes you have soulmates that you are in pain with. Her constant complaining is making everyone even more miserable. On the other hand, I just noticed a mercer dropping off a car, uh, cart of spiced wines. <laughs> we could make her our rival. We could drink. No, no, no. We'll not waste time on this. It's not worth it. don't want surprisingly we don't want our soulmate to become our rival even though that might happen very often in reality can we create a title by by the way or oh let's see let's see oh, i think our daughter can marry no our sister can marry glod ah oh, the high chieftain of savo please not 
Um, our spy master. It's unmarried. Östergötland. Well, that would be something. I mean. Oh, they will be Ulfing. Okay, okay. Uh, and matrilineal. Will they marry there? No. They will not accept. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Everyone profits. A guardian for Bodil. What about you? Focusing on stewardship, are you? Ingrid Ingling. Here we go. Glodka Mary. We've already arranged the marriage. We have too few champions. Um, yeah, we should invite some, I guess. But that would cost us. We cannot do this. Hmm. We need to do something prestigious, but what? Can grant a title to Jal Eirik? Why should we do that? We could give him Satakunda and then we would be devoid of our income there. No, we'll not do this. What, what is it about Mecklenburg here? Lions formed with Jarl Rickulf Hildeson. Yes. So, there's that. Ah! Oh. Goodness, I hate this map mode. Sweden. Can you be Sweden again? Yeah, now. <sighs> what to do about this? What to do? We must recruit champions, but we cannot. We must have prestige, but we don't. We don't have any prestige. We can only search for a physician. We cannot even invite champions. The champions are leaving us left and right. Or are they? Yeah. It's kind of close. We can only do one thing. We can raid. Yeah, that's seriously the only option. So raise them as raiders. That would cost us so much prestige. That would cost us even more. Or would it? Now we have to try. We have to try. Let us see. Zero, 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 zero. How about the lands of Estonia? They're ravaged like none other. Norik, Pomerania, Prussia, Samogitia, Braslau. That's too far away though. Let's disband the army again. It's not really an option anymore. Let's let's see again. We must look at it. There's some loot in Alba. Yeah, I must send them to Great Britain. Maybe not all of them. Let's pick only half of them. We can disband the army. And you! Frisia. There's England that could need help. Look at that. Aquitaine. 
Priskil what? Priskilianism? What is this? what is Priskilianism? An organized dualist faith they consider it was evil. There exists two kingdoms, one of light and one of darkness. Human souls were intended to conquer the kingdom of darkness, but fell and were trapped in the material realm. Among humans there were twelve patriarchs of light who failed to overcome the darkness as they were split between body and soul. Thus God sent the Savior to earth and through his death once again enabled the freeing of human spirits. Seems as straightforward as most religious uh, origin stories. There's our ships. Yes, they're coming. They're coming over. There's a lot to catch there and we will do that. We do it personally? Well, it would maybe do us good. I don't know. What is going on there? Oh, it's over there in Colchester. We'll just march over to Suffolk. Try to catch that. 18. Yeah, we're doing it in only 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Could go over here. What? So much? Can we get part of that? Not really. Mm. How is it here? I know it's a siege and... Oh, wow, that, that's, that's not a great move. Let's let's move on here. Zero they have. They have 13 here. I mean, it would cost us, but... They have the money. Let's fill our coffers. To the abhorrent King Bjorn, we have been burdened with your oppressive laws. For far too long, no more. We are done paying you taxes. Once your coffers dry up and your larders are empty, you will wish you had treated us more fairly. Leader Miko of the Peasant Revolt. Oh, whoa. Every county in the faction? No, please not. Never. A peasant's lot is to serve their lord. Peasant rebel starts the war. Rally the troops. have some troops here. Oh, they're combating us. Ulvila. We could raise local armies. Raise the rest here. Four thousand men. Mm. Over to Ulvila we go. How is it going? Are we doing anything? We've been plundering here. Oh, look at the bishopric. That seems rich enough. Eight, seven, six, four. Oh look, we got some prestige from I don't know where. Uh, we'll have to go to Southwark now. Crossing that. King Bjorn has something lost against the High Chiefdom of Galloway. Oh, goodness me. I don't know what they're doing here. With all of that. And done. To the next barony we go. A 
going on pretty quickly. Gul Guildford. Reading out. Let's, let's just concentrate on this here. That seems to be extremely rich. What are these? Ahus. Well, they're doing well. Oh, we we took our foe Miko hostage after capturing him during the Battle of Satakunta. <sighs> and he's defeated. Faction has disbanded. And we can in turn disband this army here. Well supplied and ready to plunder the bishopric. They're plundering here, we'll be plundering there. Because it's very close and very quick. Very close and very quick, it is just the bishopric. Plunder the kingdoms. The Christians. Here we go. Fire and blood, the settlement of Luz, an important stronghold in Greater Sussex, has fallen to my raiders. We could capture skilled slaves. Recently sacked. Wow. And the development progress in Chiefdom of Upland will increase by 40. Bounteous plunder. Now let's try to catch the slaves. Really, we'll do that. It's, it's cool. I mean, it's the Christian lands after all. Let's go over to the Isle of Wight. Child benefits from spouse's tutelage. Malmfrid is more likely to receive a good education. Very nice, very nice. And she's charming and pretty now. That's very good to know. We'll have a beautiful daughter there. Let's see what we can do here. King's Guard. Number of knights increased. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, let's just unlock courtship, you know. We don't have a sufficient number of knights. But maybe now we can we can uh, romance our our queen. Let's see. Uh, we could become soulmates, or we could make her our, our our second lover. We'll try. Now that we're a valiant knight, a rose knight. In the East Gittish Danish subjugation war. What? What? Uh, sometimes that's going a little bit too far, I guess. One against Chieftain Ilma of Jersica. And why do they have all of this now? <sighs> Maybe it's time to... King Bjorn again, our uncle. In the kingdom of Norreg. Taking this as a culture head. They're not even resisting freaking Frisia. Fire and blood. Ah, plunder. It's plunder right now. It's plunder again. Let's go over to Portsmouth. Wow, what a raid that is. What kind of castle is that? 
Fort Level 3. But look at that, we're close to Winchester and Southampton there. That's where the real money lies and the fame. Oh, we're missing a count. We're missing a spy master. That's a disaster. Ah, Kinyak, you need to do that. Extremely good at that. And now, and now we need to we need to get more champions somehow. How could we do that? Whom do we have there? This man, Sachalka. What a prowess! He's. Oh. Uh, we take whom we can. Recruit him to the court. You need to convert, man. You need to convert. That will make you better. Honorable lackey. Freya, who is Freya? Oh, she's not too bad. And Ingfrid of Arcter. Yeah, why not recruit a child? Child of the future. And let's give her a guardian. That's good. She's concentrating on diplomacy. Why not? Oh, she has a guardian already. That's fine. What about this woman? She's not nothing at intrigue, but martial diplomacy. Yeah, she's not bad. Oh, is it going? When when are the coffers going to be full? Oh, the barony of Reading. Oh, that will move, lead to a lot of casualties. Then let's rather go to Winchester. What kind of protection do they have there? 50 days. What issues do we have? We have few champions. I know, I know. Low County in Satakunda. Mm, how is it doing? How is the control? Train commanders. Satakunda. Six years left. Organizing levies would be better, maybe. Training commanders as well. Yeah. Yeah, let's do, let's train commanders. And we need to sway him, maybe. Oh, but we want to seduce the queen still, because we might want more children. That's something too. And while that, we're raiding Winchester because it's full of gold and our hearts are not so much made of gold. Fire and blood. We need bounteous plunder. Stoke Salisbury. Four, that's not much, but look, there's Stonehenge. <laughs> now let's go to Southampton. Also, wow, so many days. Ah, uh, well, that's what we Vikings do, I guess. I think we want to fill that up to the maximum. We can get that going. Let's supply ourselves too, if we can do that. Are we getting some supplies down now? No. What's going on here? Let's go to the bishopric. It's gonna be sweet. And what about Denmark, truly? I mean, our brother-in-law and friend He's got a similar strength. How about Noreg? 
inferior strength. At one point we might have to might have to do something. Uh, Rolf increased his prowess. Marshall's excellent skill led to this windfall. Yeah, we need to do this right now. Let's see. And we also need to construct new buildings. It's just the way. Let's get more gathering halls going. We need to be a great country. Malmfried's pregnant. Very nice. It's less uh, pr prowessish. I don't know. Look, that's all our doing. Raiding, raiding, raiding. It's the time. Now she's pregnant and we're away. Hmm. Anlauf has been showing off a promising new recruit. He may not be a, a, of as noble stock as you, my liege, but on my name I swear that Marek is someone you would want on your side. Look at this man. Just what we need. Yeah. He shall serve me. What a great man. The borough of Pool. Only 12 days. And there's another bishopric. We should visit that too. To install Chieftain Ragnar of Sjelland on the Swedish throne. It's getting crazier and crazier while we're away. Time for treatment. <sighs> if I may be so bold, I would like to recommend an alternative treatment, but the choice is yours. Um, we're zealous? No. We, so we cannot do that. Yeah, let's see. It's too late for caution, maybe. A medical miracle. Magnus buckled the last strap, securing me on the operating table. I will not lie to you, my lord. It will be excruciatingly painful, but it must be done. Try to protect when Magnus brought out the soul, but due to the calming potion he had made me drink, I slurred the words beyond comprehension. I no longer feel any symptoms. We're one leg. Took a leg, he took a leg of us. It's a miracle. But we're wounded and gout legged. <sighs> really, we need a new commander here. We cannot do this at the moment. How about uh, Emon the Reaver? Just the right man to lead this. No more gout, but I ruined another nevertheless. Uh, let's go to Wareham. My beloved wife. Servants have all been sent away and our bed has been decorated with roses as Queen Malmfried enters our chambers. She smiles mysteriously and joins me without any hesitation. We reaffirm the devotion we swore before Odin and... Uh, we're now united in heart. Why not? She becomes our lover. As it should be. Now let's see. Dorset is nothing but Exeter. Seems excellent. How about this man? Oh, he's not very powerful, but... Oh, <gasps> and we've died. We died from our wounds. <coughs> oh, goodness me. King Bjorn of Sweden 
has joined the feast in Valhalla. At 48 years of age, he died from his wounds. A charming man, he became famous for his elaborate feasts and grandiose balls. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> he had balls. King Jedward ascends to the throne, a true sadist. Many fear for what the realm will turn into under his rule. He's also heir to the Kingdom of England. Let me see. Continue. Holla endorses us. Our grandmother. Okay. So we're still plundering here and we will continue that, of course. Let's have a look around. Wow, that was a quick end. A quick end. Gout. Let's see. We are we are we're good for learning. Yeah, let's try to learn. Anatomical studies. Court physicians cost less to hire and the treatments have better outcomes. Hmm. Development growth, so no, that doesn't benefit us. So, uh, theology, we could become theologian. Hmm. Or we could increase our medicine focus. That's maybe something, something great. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I mean, we're already into the whole of body and into blood for our um, family. We want to understand life beyond the vagaries of the world. No pain, no gain. That's what we say as a sadist. What, what other traits do we have? Let me see. So we're, we're just, yeah, we're just cynical. Just, just a cynical sadist. That is all. Focusing on that, mm, we have a great military strength still. Um, we re rule Sweden. I don't think we have lost much. We have indeed gained something. Are we still ruling this, this, this? Yeah, so the main things are ours still. We even gain something more and we can have one more holding even. So that's nice, that's perfect. That would set us up for what? Uh, we're also doing something here. When you Rix Godi, let's have a look at our council. Wow! Um, Hala is still converting. Our marshal is training commanders, and we need a chancellor. Jarl Björn, our brother-in-law and vassal. Once a seat on the council, would be good for the position. And we would have a spy master here. Hmm. We also need a steward, though. That guy would be a st great steward. That guy would be a good chancellor. Now let's assign him. We need a good steward. He's perfect for the job. And we need a good we need a trustworthy spy master most of all. What's about this man? We have a short reign, he wants a seat on the council. Jarl Rolf, our uncle, vassal and champion. He's a drunkard, he's profligate, he's only 27 years old. And why does he not like us so much? Because we're sadistic. Okay. I mean, mum could do it. She's perfectly okay with that. And she would be trustworthy. At least we hope that. It's time for mum. Mum is our spy master. Oh, I I think we we could just leave her on that. 
which would give us three, four, five, six bonus. Or Court Intrigue, giving us also six bonus. That's considerable. We're already okay with Intrigue and we're not focusing on it, so I think we just should just leave it like that. Queen Gudrun can just assist us. Our wife, she's pretty and a dishonorable villain. Let's see about a bow. Does he have a guardian? Bow, our son. What kind of guardian do you have? Us. Well, there can't be no better guardian, of course. Um... So that's us. Um, hmm. We have a concubine, Ingrid, a rational paragon. A mastermind philosopher. Wow. That's definitely good. Shy, just and diligent. Uh, maybe let's let's sway King Queen Gudrun first. That would be something. I mean, we could romance. Would that be? That's impossible. We must sway her, and that is even a stretch. Rickulf. Oh, goodness. Yeah, but he's only the steward. Um, we should see if we could get other concubines as well. Our sister-in-law, gregarious, cynical and arrogant. Our sister-in-law and best friend, Swanhild of Munze. Uh, I guess... Uh, yeah, um, I mean, she's our best friend and everything. Let's see, Gudrun Björns dot here. She's also pretty. And our sister-in-law. But the chance of children is high. And uh, definitely we want the most beautiful women. Our health is fine. It's only fine, so it's good that we are on the medicine focus. How about this? Um, convergent blood is a little bit more than we can go for right now, but it will change. Let's see what else there is to do. Hmm. Let's have a look around. Yeah, England is kind of getting trashed. Constantly. It's a hard time for the Asatru faith. I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the right direction we have taken. But we might go and... Might... That might be something. We might have to go and declare war on Denmark one day. So that's our big goal. Getting Denmark back, maybe. That would be something um, for that once in a lifetime thing. So thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other in the next episode when we'll see what we can do as... A man who likes herbs and health. And also a little bit, just a little bit of a sadist. A just, just cynical sadist. A great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Simon Volkan signing out. See you soon and happy gaming.